Good afternoon again. Watch Women 65. Lisa Boyce here. I know you didn't expect me to come back this quick, but they are, remember I said um, I got something else. Well, guess what? <laughs> Gantz has accepted the White House invite for separate meeting with Trump on peace deal. And this just came out like five minutes ago from the Times of Israel. It says the Blue and White Party leader, Benny Gantz, on Saturday has accepted a personal invitation from U.S. President Donald Trump to meet with him privately in Washington on Monday on the long-awaited Middle East peace plan. Gantz had been invited to Washington alongside Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to discuss the peace plan to discuss the peace plan dubbed the deal of the century with Trump has said he will likely release in the next few days. The two rival Israeli leaders were to have met Trump on Tuesday, but Gantz concerned he would be a minor player in such a meeting, but not wanting to say no to the president said Saturday that he would instead meet with Trump on Monday. Netanyahu's office in a statement issued immediately after Gantz announced his move said the prime minister would also meet privately with Trump on Monday ahead of a planned Tuesday meeting. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Netanyahu's office in a statement issued immediately after Gantz, uh, Gantz announced his move said the prime minister would also meet privately with Trump on Monday ahead of a, pr a planned Tuesday meeting. Okay. Appearing on live TV, Gantz said he has answered an invitation from Trump to meet with him privately and thanked him for the invitation. Gantz called Trump a true friend to Israel, the Israelis, and to American Jews. Prior to Gantz's announcement, excuse me, Netanyahu released a short video in Hebrew in which he called the invitation to Washington an historic moment and an opportunity that should not be missed. Today in the White House, we have the greatest friend Israel has had. And so we have the greatest opportunity, Netanyahu said. And he went on to talk about uh, what he was saying to the reporters. Um, yeah, it says that Gantz and Netanyahu were invited to the White House next Tuesday, the day the Knesset is set to vote on establishing the committee that will weigh the premier's request to be protected from corruption charges in three criminal cases. Netanyahu is set to fly out on Sunday. So I guess the two of them are having a private meeting on Monday, is what it sounds like. Um, that's what it sounds like to me. Earlier Saturday, uh, um, uh, Lieberman said the timing of Trump's imminent release of his Israeli-Palestinian was very suspicious implying it would be unveiled now to help boost Netanyahu's chance in a March 2nd election. Issuing a long-awaited plan so close to the election, I said I repeated what Lieberman said yesterday. So Netanyahu was running away. Um, wait a minute. Lieberman claimed the premier was attempting to avoid his promise to annex the Jordan Valley to Israel, a move uh, the party leader asserted could be swiftly approved when the Knesset convenes Tuesday. So I'm guessing that they are having this meeting Monday so they could go back and do what they have to do Tuesday. Because remember, Netanyahu was told to hold off on the annexing of the West of the Jordan, of the West Jordan uh, the Jordan Valley until after this peace plan was announced. 
So that's what I'm thinking, that they're going to do this Monday. They're going to meet privately Monday. Netanyahu said, um, oh, it says on Thursday, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence confirmed that Netanyahu will visit the White House next week and said that Gantz was also invited. So, um, So, yeah, that's what I got now. So I guess he's going to show up, after all, for a private meeting. And it looks like Netanyahu is going to be with him from what I read there. So we'll see what happens. Anything else comes out, I will gladly let you know.